And welcome back, YouTube. This is Booster Box Buster here with another video. Today I'm here to share with you Xbox 360 themes to download before the store closes on July 29th. Now, these themes you could pick up from the Xbox Live uh, shop. And they range anywhere from free, like, and the free ones are typically advertisements like advertising a movie, a TV show, some sort of food or drink, or beverage product like Mountain Dew, or, uh, I don't know, like Doritos, stuff like that. And a lot of them you can pick up for under a dollar, like 70 cents a theme, which is not bad for some of these, because some of them would look fantastic. And they can range all the way up to about $3.33 for a premium theme. I have very few of those because, let's face it, it's just a theme. You shouldn't spend it that much on a theme. <laughs> so with that said, I want to start scrolling through. I have a lot of themes, so it's going to probably take a little bit. And I'm going to stop on the ones that I really like. Uh, you get four standard themes that come with your Xbox 360 automatically. You get the classic uh, white and gray. The Spectrum. Not bad. The Day theme, which is kind of cool. It looks almost like a beam of light. And the Night theme, which, you know, if you like that inner urban city vibe type feel. And now we're going to start with the themes that I have downloaded. Note, some of these themes are no longer available on the 360 shop as they were limited time exclusive, or they came off of, uh, like, a demo disc from the official Xbox magazine. And now we're going to start with the actual themes. First... Bare Your Teeth, Gears of War 2. I'm not sure if this was a time exclusive or you can still get this one. Let me know in the comments down below. Not bad. If you're a massive Mass Effect fan. RE5. That's pretty cool. And apologies, I do not have a better way to show these. Because, uh... There's no way to remove the uh, select theme option to get a clean view of the theme. You, so you're just going to have to bear with it. Man, this was such a fun game back in the day. I really wish that they'd bring this back, but I understand why they can't. Just a cheap, uh, just a free Slurpee theme. Another Slurpee. This is another free one. Not the best, but it does a job if you're a fan of that movie. Of course, you can't see the characters, so... This, this is a fantastic, absolutely amazing theme. One of my favorites that I have downloaded, and it was only like 70 cents, so... If you're a fan of Afro Samurai, definitely pick this up. He looks like one of the thumb... Thumb, uh... Thumb guards from a, the Spy Kids movie in this shot. A terrible shot of Agent 47. Then you got some, like, you know, like the Air Force Army. You can get some of those themes as well. Street Fighter has some absolutely baller themes. Absolutely amazing themes on here. Akuma, that's one of the better ones. That's... An amazing one right here. Here's the free Alien vs. Predator one. The chibi characters from... Super Street Fighter 2 uh, Puzzle Challenge, I believe. When they use the in-game character models for the actual theme, it just looks ugly. Oh, is Sunny. That was a nice free pickup. Darksiders, great game. 
course, we got to have some anime ones. This one was a bit on the pricier side. I think this one was like two bucks. Same with this one. You got the Aquafina Plants vs. Zombie Garden Warfare theme. Not terrible. Hmm. Another free one. Double Pits to Chesty. Remember that slogan from way back in the day? Susan Glynn. Of course, you gotta have a Ted theme pack. Hangover. Ryan Sheckler. The Sprinkler theme. Whoa, so this one, this one, if you are really, really into Bakugan, here is the close-up version of a Bakugan right here. Not a bad Batman theme. Arkham Asylum Villains theme pack. Dr. Pepper. So this one I was incredibly disappointed with because Bayonetta is not part of the main theme itself. I was really... And this one was like a $3 theme. So I was incredibly disappointed that I just get some of the art, some of the uh, background art, instead of an actual Bayonetta shot. That was incredibly disappointing. Beach Girl, Anime Girl. Then you gotta have some... <laughs> this looks suggestive right here. The King of All Cosmos, so what are you doing there, buddy? Another Katamari Damacy. Another one. If you really like the King of All Cosmos. This one I was also kind of disappointed with because it's just very bland. If you're a Best Buy employee, you probably didn't even download this theme. <laughs> Let's be honest. The last thing you want to do is think about work when uh, you download this, when you're playing Xbox. Now this one, this one was really cool. If you're a Halo 3 fan, this was a fantastic theme. Of course, the Chief's covered up so you can't see him, but it's a really cool theme. Beyond Good and Evil, this one I was disappointed with. I, I was hoping for a bit more of the characters. I mean, it's a beautiful shot of the artwork from the game and the tower there, but it's, I just wish it was a bit more character focused, I guess. And this one was like a three dollar theme too, so I was a bit disappointed by that. Awful game. Not a bad theme. This one, Battle Station Pacific. This is an absolutely beautiful theme. I, w I switch between this one and a few other ones in rotation because this is a beautiful theme. I really wish it had a theme shuffler where you could choose like 10 themes, kind of like the Nintendo 3DS did, and uh, where you'd shuffle which theme it would be uh, every time that you log on. That would be fantastic. I understand why they would not implement something like that because the 360 is not going to be around much longer but uh that would be a really cool thing if they would do that but yeah the battle station specific absolutely beautiful theme one of my favorites in my collection sorry about that it's getting a bit blurry there we go that's better and then we, of course we have bugs bunny Bullet Witch, a game that's not very good, but the theme's actually pretty decent. You got it, it serves its purpose. You got the main character, you got the logo, and actually on different like if you uh go under the my game category, it actually switches to Bullet Witch in a different outfit. So it's it it's actually not bad. This, this is a fantastic theme. 
Bungie Day 2007, I believe this is a free one. And just look, if you are a fan of Bungie, at least old Bungie, absolutely worth the pickup. The 08 one is not as good, because this is just like a love letter to old Bungie, 2007 and before. This, it's much more simplified. Burger King... <laughs> I have, I do have the Sneak King. I do have the Sneak King. Not a good game, but it was like two bucks back in the day with when you bought a Whopper. Burnout Revenge, not bad. So the Command and Conquer has a huge list of themes, and I love the live action ones because Command and Conquer uses live action uh, actors for a lot of their. story progression like to but the word like like their cinematics you know like full motion video they actually use real actors instead of CGI and I think that's kind of cool now uh, this is a really cool one. Oh, let me uh, pull that back out just so you can see the bottom sorry about that I thought I had it all in view off a little bit of the bottom there. Sorry about that. Let me get that focused. There we go. But yeah, this one's great. You got uh, J.K. Simmons as the president. Autumn Reese as Lizette. A really nice Emperor of the Rising Sun art theme here. Ginma Atkinson. Gina Car Cariano, Jenny McCarthy, still very surprised that she uh, appeared in that. Because if you know, you know. There we go. Kelly Hu, Randy Couture. And there is the man himself, Tim Keary, as the Soviet Russia leader. Absolutely gorgeous theme. <laughs> I mean, you can't go wrong with Tim Curry. He, he, he was one of the best actors in that. Then, of course, you have... Apologies, your name escapes me, sir, but you did a fantastic job in the game as well. Then, of course, you have Kane, and that's the CNC. Like I said, fantastic set of uh, themes there. Got some Call of Duty themes. Castle Crashers, always a fantastic choice. Castlevania, if you like the darker tone with the castle in the background. I really wish we could see the castle in this shot. Action theme with the uh, bats coming at you. Alucard. Alucard again in a much more picturesque, like something you'd see on a hanging up in uh, his house. Uh, Modern Warfare. Child of Eden. I'm not gonna lie, the theme's not bad, but I was hoping for a little bit more. But I, I understand the premium theme. They, they kinda, because of the way that the Xbox was set up at the time, they kinda have to leave the bottom half more empty because uh, that's where you, all your friends and avatars are displayed. And then that'd be kind of like in the background behind them. When it's set up the correct way, when you have all your friends and everything, it looks fantastic. But uh, the way it is now, it's just kind of more like it's half empty. 
Chrome Hounds, a game that can really never be played again because it's pretty much all online until the uh, private servers get put up for it. Chrome Hounds again. I just love giant robots, so Condemned I was a kind I was a little bit disappointed. I was hoping for a bit more. Uh Bloodshot, Cinemas. It's not bad. If you enjoy nightmares, this is a great one to put on. Crash Wrath Cortex. I believe when you buy this, you also get a free uh, gamer picture of pretty much this too. So it's not a bad choice, especially if you're a big Crash fan. This fantastic theme. I love this theme. Uh, Crimson Skies, fantastic game. If you have not played it, definitely worth giving a try if you enjoy uh, aerial, aerial combat games. And then you gotta have Daffy Duck, you gotta have Bugs Bunny, you gotta have his partner in crime, or his opposite, uh, Daffy Duck. Rabbit season. Duck season. Uh, more Dark Siders. Dunkin' Donuts Shark Week. This is a free one. This is a, this for a free theme actually goes pretty hard. This is a pretty dang good free theme. Uh, Dead Rising, Dead Rising again. Zombies of Dead Rising. This is actually a pretty decent theme here. Dead Space. If you're a Dead Space fan, this this uh, this one de definitely does the job. Desert Punk, uh, if you enjoy the more looter side of things, this is a good theme for you. DMC4, I really wish we could see the character. This one is more of like a comic book style art, and I really like this for Double May Cry 4. No, it's not tilt. My camera's not tilted. That is the way the theme looks. It is uh, <laughs> angled, and it annoys me so much. Disc of Tron Cityscape, it's actually pretty good. Except for that little Disney logo, I wish I could be moved a little bit more to the corner. Destructive Art, Dark Angels. So the Destructive Art themes are... You only get to see a very little image of it before you buy it, and this one looked cool, so I thought, oh, I'd give it a try. Plus, it was one of the cheaper uh, destructive art themes that they had. And they actually have uh, real-life people that are that were not in games. So this one kind of surprised me that they actually put up on the uh, store. DMC4 on Xbox. Once again, I really wish we could see more of the character here. Dog tags. If you are a Brothers in Arms fan, and yes, it it does cut off on the screen. It's not that's not on the uh, camera. That actually cuts off on the bottom of the screen there. Uh, this is a fantastic, beautiful theme. Uh, Brothers in Arms is a very uh, I think forgotten franchise and deserves to make a comeback. It is a great, great story uh, driven. World War game. A free uh, Project Arcade. Another free uh, Doritos one. Double D Dodgeball. Not what you're thinking. When I think of Double D Dodgeball, I think of the girls from Dead or Alive playing Dodgeball. Basically, <laughs> instead of playing volleyball, they play Dodgeball. That's what I think when I think of Double D Dodgeball. And of course we have some uh, Destructive Publishing, uh, this is their anime series, we got Cat Girl, Bunny Girl, Elemental Girls, Halloween, this is a fire theme, one of my absolute favorites that I've downloaded. Uh, just fantastic. Mystical Girls. Sexy Pirates, 
St. Patrick's Day, Luck of the Irish, and Summer Girls. We got some live action beach sampler and summer down under. Dr. Pepper 10 theme pack. This was a weird one. I do not remember this campaign at all. Skate. Need for Speed Shift. Dr. Pepper did some really cool like video game tie-ins. And then of course we have Eggman. I was really hoping for just Eggman himself. But I mean I, I understand why they probably wanted to uh, put him with the giant robot because that's what he's with. Unfortunately it is from Sonic 06. Not the best. Just an absolute garbage Sonic game. Drag Me to Hell. Actually, not a bad movie. Not a good movie, not a great movie, but not bad. Duke Nukem. You gotta have the Duke. Yeah, I could jiggle it a little bit, but I can't completely get rid of the select theme image. E3 2007. Man. I wish... E3 didn't die, because that was one of my big things I look forward to every year. Of course, with modern day gaming, I look forward to it less and less, but from E3 basically from like 2005 through like 2012 was its prime. It was absolute, it's something I look forward to every year watching on TV and then on the internet and then, uh, you know, reading in the magazines. It was just such a good time to be a video game fan. Uh, Alan Wake Energizer. Oh, we got an epic anime beach theme. So when you uh, go to the store, the epic, the anime, the epic anime series will be the very first thing you see because it is the the last themes to ever be released on the 360, and there are a ton of them. I got a couple of them just to see how they were. They're okay. Uh, I heard that the Sniper series is r really good and lewd if you like the lewdness. But, uh, yeah, I just picked up a couple just to see how they were. Although, I will say they are expensive. They're like $3 per theme. So keep that in mind for the Epic Anime series. Eternal Sonata. The theme's not bad, but I wish I'd get rid of all that crap at the bottom, you know. Where it says Bandai Namco and then all that, uh, legal stuff. It's like, do you really need that on the theme? If it was a free theme, maybe, but it's not even a free theme, you gotta pay for it. Just get, just expand it to get it off of there. But Eternal Sonata, a game that I have actually not played. I've heard a lot of great things about it, but I have not played it. The obligatory Fable theme. Not a big Fable fan, but... I think I think one of them was free, and the other one was like 70 cents. Faction, uh, End War. Fantasy theme. I think this is South Park, right? I'm not a big fan of Final Fantasy XIII, but the lightning theme is pretty fire. It is a dang good theme. Snow theme's alright, but the lightning theme is quite nice. Fusion Fantasy, this is a dang good theme, too. If you, For those who remember that game, the theme represents it pretty well. Another anime theme, Galaxy Railway. Gamefly, anybody remember Gamefly? Are, are, are they still around? I have no idea. I haven't checked in a long time. That was free, though. This GameStop one was free. This is actually not a bad theme. Very simple, but very elegant. And this is the GameStop 2012, which were 
highlighting popular properties and games of the 2012 era. Of course, uh, Tomb Raider. That looks like Assassin's Creed 3. Can't tell. Whoop. What the other ones are. Sorry about that. This is another anime theme. Not bad. Command and Conquer. Michael Ironside. This is part of the this is labeled as the GDI talent. Gears of War. Pretty dang cool theme here. This one, Gears of War, Hope Runs Deep. I think this is no longer available. Fantastic theme, though. It, this is a big theme, too. This takes up, like, what was it, like, almost 10 megabytes, I think, which is huge for a theme. Uh, this one is, I know it's no longer available. This emergency theme day, because it just, you could only get it, I believe, the like one of the the week that the uh, Gears of War game came out. Geico Snow Angel. I remember that commercial. Geico Snowboard. Gion Emotions, Dark Thoughts, and Pure Feeling. If you like cubes, these are for you. Ghost Recon 2, absolutely terrible screenshot. So blurry. Ah. Uh, go God Go theme. <laughs> South Park. The South Park ones are fantastic. They are bright, colorful, just full of life. I wish... I picked up the two cheaper ones. I wish... The other ones weren't so expensive. The other ones are like $3 each, but the two themes that I got are really nice. Golden Axe Be Beast Rider. Not a good game. You got a great shot of the beast, and uh, actually with the, the select theme menu there, it kind of looks like she may be uh, changing outfits or... Not safe for work. Good times with weapons. <clears throat> so, from the South Park anime episode. Ghost Recon 3. Advanced Warfighter. Because everything... Because after the, the success of Modern Warfare, everything needed to be like Advanced Warfighter. Future Soldier. Uh... You know, they needed that advanced or modern or future in their name. GTA 4, classic. Gun. I wish the theme was better because Gun was a very underappreciated game. I really like the Gun series. Or the Gun game, I should say. Gunslinger Girl. Very minimalistic theme. Uh, I think this one was only like 70 cents, so it's... It's not bad. H just to show you some of the ridiculousness of uh, some of the themes that have H&R Black. Who, who in their right mind would display an H&R Black theme? Even if you worked at H&R Black, you would probably not want to display the theme because like, just like the Best Buy one, you would not want to put your work on your 360 when you're trying to escape uh, real life. Uh, now we get to the Halo themes. I have there are some fire Halo themes. Just straight the cover art of Halo One, cannot go wrong with that. Halo Two, once again the cover art, amazing theme. Halo Three, not my favorite. Uh, wish it was a little bit not. Just pull out a little bit, because this is a bit close for me. Halo 3 Championship theme. Not bad. 
Halo 3 Uprising. So this is based on, I believe, one of the comic books they did. Or graphic novels, if you will. Absolutely beautiful art. Uh, this is one of the ones I keep in rotation, along with uh, Battle Station Specific and the... Uh, Destructive Publishing, uh, Devil Girl. Just absolutely amazing. Halo 3, first spot. Or TV spot. And I remember that it was so amazing seeing it for the first time. Shivers went up and down my spine. Just like the entire short, uh, time that it was on TV. Halo Trilogy. Halo Wars. Another very underrated game. Fantastic game. Sad that the series is kind of forgotten about. Halo Wars E3 2007. Hansel and Gretel. A free one. Actually not a bad one either. Heart and Arrow, very beautiful art here. Healy's Holiday Theme Pack. Anybody, do, do they still make Healy's? Let me know in the comments down below. Do they still make Healy's? I remember seeing them, and I thought, man, that's just, uh... Trouble waiting for it happen if like people go to like a mall or something and start using them. But I also thought they were cool because I was like, man, the mobility of skates without actually having to put on like skates or a skateboard and just being able to like ride down the uh, sidewalk that that would have been so cool. Heroes theme from Call of Duty Four. Hexic H. That is a Hexic HD, what well, kind of a disappointing one here. Hitman, the awful, awful Hitman movie. <laughs> Holiday 2008 theme, I think this is a free one you could still get off of uh, the theme store. Holiday 2011 premium theme, I, one of these two is free off the theme store. I can't remember which one, but they're not bad themes for free. This one is not. This one you gotta pay, I think, 70 cents if you want the, uh, uh, Katamari Damacy Holiday Theme. Honor the Code. Hope Runs Deep. Another fantastic Gears of War one. Hot Pockets! Side shots, many soft baked cheeseburgers. I don't know if I've ever had that from Hot Pockets. Sounds interesting. Ikaruga or Ikagra. Not a bad theme. I could be better. For a fantastic game, by the way. Another aerial combat game that does a pretty dang good theme. IL-2 Birds of Prey Sky Battle. This is actually a pretty decent theme. I like it. Image Board from Dead Rising. This was a uh, for, I believe, selling one million copies of the game that released this theme. Infinite Undiscovery. How disappointed I was when I downloaded this. It looks like a cool image, doesn't it? They cut off his head. No, that's not my camera cutting off the head. They cut off his head in the theme. Oh, that's aggravating. This one, on the other hand, this is a great theme. Beautiful theme. This I keep in my rotation. Jack in the Box. Hot mess. I never got to try that. It sounds interesting, though. Jack Link's Camping with Sasquatch. I think they still do the, Sk the Sasquatch uh, uh, 
character from time to time, don't they? And then you got the Sasquatch Thinker. Pretty cool. Jacket and Comic 1 million theme. Oh, uh, from Dead Rising. Just getting torn to shreds there by all the zombies around you. Jericho. So, I played the demo for this game. I don't actually own it. But I remember playing the demo off of, I believe, an old OXM disc. And the graphics were like early PlayStation 2 with late PlayStation 1. The graphics were some of the worst I've seen on the 360 ever for this game. Trust me, it looks nothing, nothing like that uh, theme there. Oh, and then I downloaded some Cameo ones, because Cameo was an underrated game. It wasn't great, but definitely it was a solid good game. You got the Elves theme pack. Her eyes look like she's so surprised. Like, oh! Maybe she just got one of those, oh, what do they call it, uh... Botox for her eye, for her eyes, for her eyebrows. Cameo fire. <laughs> this is, it's kind of a goofy looking dragon, but it, it's actually pretty nice looking. It's actually pretty high, uh, high quality. You got Cameo handing you a little bit of a gift there. Her ice monster form. Keeping up with. Axe. So this is supposed to be a spoof on keeping up with the uh, Kardashians back in the day. K now, I gotta say, for a food advertisement, KFC, this actually goes really hard. If you are a fan of Guitar Hero uh, World Tour, this is a fantastic theme to download. It is really good. And I think I think that's a free one, too. Kitty Grade, this is actually a pretty decent theme. If you're a fan of the anime, definitely worth picking up. This is a free one. It feels so futuristic even nowadays. That this house that this that it's built on, it, it just feels like like uh like a house from like the metaverse or something. Just, just kind of crazy like that. Klondike, five seconds to glory. I do not remember that ever campaign at all. Craft, failgate theme. The ladies of uh, Street Fighter, Puzzle Fighter. Of course, you gotta have Chun Li. I mean, Ch Chun Li is the iconic female character from Street Fighter. Brisk. Uh, I forget what... Th I, I can't see the other one. Lost Planet Snowpack. Main character... Now this is a great theme. If you are a Lost Planet fan, this is a fantastic, beautiful, uh, striking image here. McDonald's Monopoly theme. The absolute bare minimal that they could do. They just slap their logo, a picture of their meal on there, and then boom, that's that's the theme. <laughs> At least this one is a bit of a closer image. You get the McDonald's uh, Sunday theme here, off their dollar menu. Mecha Salt. Anyone remember this game? It was a fun... It was a fun game. It, it's kinda like Armored Core. This, this is the mech theme from Armored Core. It's either 4 or Verdict Day. And I gotta say, really damn cool theme. I love this theme. And now we go to the Mega Man. The Mega Mans are all striking beautiful images. We got Mega Man. We got Roll. We got Proto Man. And of course, the villainous Dr. Wily. Gotta run, gotta run now. Gotta run, gotta run now. Where's Mega Man? Where's Mega Man? Anyone who watched Rental Floss will get those references. 
And then we got more Sonic 06 themes. Memorial Sonic's theme. Uh, Sonic throughout the ages type thing. Oh, and th this is another part of the Destructive, destructive Publishing uh, anime series, but it, for whatever reason it does, it's kind of separated from the rest. This is Mrs. Claus. Not bad. I, br I bring out this one around the holidays. Kind of cool. Mountain Dew Typhoon. I don't know. I, I never got to try that flavor. Let me know in the comments down below if you get to try Mountain Dew Typhoon back in the day. And then Whiteout. I did try that. Ninja Plus. I honestly don't remember downloading this theme, but it's pretty dang good. Since it never gave us the Ninja Gaiden theme. Here we go. I'm going to have to do it. We got live action Jack Black shirtless as Nacho Libre. Nacho! You knew I had to do it. Nerf Super Soaker. New Year's. This is another free one. I know it's celebrating 2010, but this is a pretty dang fire uh, New Year's theme. You got the ball dropping in the background, all the fireworks going off, the helicopter, the city. It's a great theme. This is not a bad theme. I don't remember that show, but I know... Uh, well, it's because on CW, the CW, anything on there kind of went to die. Except for us. Uh, I think Smallville was on there. That was the only thing that really lived. The Nod Talent Team. Joe Kukan. On Chanabara Bikini Samurai. crazy how much that game's going for on the secondary market as of the time of this video. Over a hundred bucks. When you can still download it off of Xbox for fifteen dollars. Crazy. And then this was from the live action uh, series that they did. Only in Japan, of course. Kind of surprised they put this one on the market to be honest. Orville Pop Crunch Theme. Probably one of my least favorite themes. It's just a cornfield with the curtain partially over it. Just weird. Sylvester and Tweety. Absolute iconic duo. I thought I saw a putty cat. I did. I did. I did see a putty cat. <laughs> that is my absolute awful <laughs> Tweety impression. Overlord Minion. Kind of crazy. Okay, so this is the OXM ones. You can only get them off of the OXM disc. You cannot get them any other way. So these are not available on the marketplace. This was... So this, I'll explain a little bit. So this, they did a nice little, uh, like... Series. It was like a nice little mini game they did. If you, so if you played a series of their demo disc and you played all the uh, demos, you could earn points on their demo disc that would eventually award you with the theme. And I thought that was really cool. Actually, a pretty fire left for dead one. I'm not gonna lie. A very ho hum Lost Planet one. PGR, Project Gotham Racing 4. And Resident Evil 5. I'm not going to lie, that Left 4 Dead ones and the Borderlands one are both fantastic themes. Perfect Dark Zero. This one actually makes it into the rotation. It's very simple, but very focused on what it's meant to be. It's Joanna from Perfect Dark Zero, and that's it.
That's all you need for a theme. Close up of her face. Pepsi. Uh, Sierra Mist Cherry Splash. R.I.P. Sierra Mist. You will be missed. Project Gotham Racing 3. Fantasy Star Theme 1. Not so great. Fantasy Star Theme 2. Eh. Pinup Girls from uh, Battle Stations Midway. Got a couple of these. First we have... I think that's Barbara. And then Eleanor. And uh, there, I, I don't know who the last person is. Pizza Hut! No one out pizzas the hut. Prepare to drop premium theme, Halo 3. This is a pretty nice theme if you enjoy the background art of Halo 3. Uh, ODST. Psychonauts. This is a great theme for a very underappreciated game. Well, I shouldn't say underappreciated. The people that like it love it. Or the people that have played it, most of them love it, but not every not many people have played this game. Please, if you ever see Psychonauts, give it a try. It is a fantastic game. Rare concept art from the Rareware. I forget what game that's from. Looks pretty cool, though. And then just the straight-up Rare logo. If you are a huge fan of Rare, Banjo-Kazooie, Goldeneye, uh, Cameo, Conquer, Conquer's Bad Fur Day in the Conquer series. Grabbed by the Ghoulies, for those that remember that game. Uh, Donkey Kong 64, this is a theme for you. I am not the biggest fan of those games. Uh, except for, per I, I forgot to mention Perfect Dark. I liked Perfect Dark 1 and 0. Benjo Kazooie, putting up a shield here. Not my favorite game series. It's great if you love it, it's just not my cup of tea. Red Bull gives you wings! This is the most simple theme you're gonna find. There is nothing behind this uh, select theme menu. It's literally just blue theme with a little Red Bull logo at the top. And you got some athletes that you could download. Resident Evil Retribution. After the third movie... No. I only liked the first two Resident Evil movies. After that... They, they weren't good. Resident Evil 3, Afterlife 3D. That was not a good movie. That was not a good movie. Return to Castle Wolfenstein. It's a very dark theme, but a very cool theme. I really like it. Rumbling Hearts. Very bright, very nice. Ruthless. If you are a fan of Captain Hook, this is the theme for you, although he, not his best shot. Scenes and settings from Modern Warfare. Sexy Alice Murray from Army of Two. Street Fighter uh, 4. Very close up shot of Ryu. Oh, almost a little bit too close there. Shoot him up! The movie. Slim Jim! EA theme. Speedy Gonzalez. I know there's some controversy around him, but Looney Tunes are Looney Tunes, man. He is still a great character in my eyes. Sprint 1 vs. 100 theme pack. Yes, they made two themes for 1 vs. 100. They're both free, and let me tell you, I wish this would come back. Uh, Sprint Gil the Guild Season 3 theme. They have, I believe, the Season 1 through 5, and they're all free. So, I just, I just chose one random one to download. I never really watched the Guild, so I was just like, I'll get one of them just to have one. 
Street Fighter 2 uh, Turbo HD Remake Basic Theme 1. It's a basic uh, fighting stage image, no characters. Kind of disappointed because I paid like two bucks for that theme. Got a cool blue Ken. This, this is a amazing, amazing theme. This makes it in my rotation very often. Uh, you got the bad guys from Street Fighter 2. M. Bison. I'm drawing a blank. Oh, well, M. Bison, Saget. Why can't I remember your name? Ah. Vega and uh, I'm drawing a blank, I'm sorry. But the four villains of Street Fighter. Absolutely amazing theme. Downloaded. It. It's like a dollar. This is the free Target holiday theme. Actually not bad. Very simple, but does the job. Targets and Assassins theme. Can I show this on YouTube? <laughs> Terminator, can I show that on YouTube? Probably not. The Darkness. Fantastic. A really fun game. Absolutely terrible theme. <laughs> the Girls of Red Alert 3. X-Files, I want to believe. Arcadian Warriors. Not a bad one for Tomb Raider. So, there are a couple of two human uh, themes. Both of these are free. And I'm going to share this with you in a future video, in a very near future video, but if you're looking to get a free game, the two human game is also free on Xbox 360 until the store closes on Jan uh, July 29th of 2024. Tomb Raider Anniversary, Laura Croft in her polygonal glory. Trinity Blood, Abel. Trinity Blood was not everybody's cup of tea. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun, uh, fun anime series. This is a pretty dang good theme too, if you are a fan of Trinity Blood. Tropic Thunder. That was a fun movie. Free theme, and you get. <laughs> Uh, three great care, uh, actors on this image right here. Turtle Beach headset. Yeah. I downloaded a Turtle Beach DSS2 theme. U.S. Army vehicle training. This is actually a pretty good theme. Underworld. Not a bad movie. Another Underworld theme. Sniper School theme. Real life Sniper School, not video game. Uh, another Verizon Alan Wake. Th or wait, no, the other one was Energizer. This is Verizon. Virtual Fighter 5. Full cast. I don't... That's not the full cast. That is not the full cast. And he, I got the Vanessa virtu from Virtual Fighter 5. Wanted weapons. Oh, wait, no, that's just regular wanted, isn't it? Wendy's! I think this, this was their. Yeah, this is our value meal. Wendy's has some pretty good fast food if you're looking for a fast food. Witchblade, one of my newest themes that I have downloaded. I gotta say. If you are a fan of Witchblade and you want a little bit of. 
sexiness added to your Xbox 360, this is the one to go with. Xbox Live is five. So this was celebrating the five, the fifth year anniversary of Xbox Live being around. And I gotta say, very simple theme. They could have done a bit more with it. But I understand that they wanted to go with the old Xbox style logo too to represent its roots. So I can understand that. And this is a Guilty Gear theme that for whatever reason downloaded in the Japanese language. <laughs> Not a bad theme though. And that is everything I have downloaded. So, my final say on this is, if you are looking for a good theme, there are a lot of free themes, and there are a lot of themes that you can pick up for under a dollar each. Uh, I showed you some of my top favorite ones, and you've seen what a lot of them look like. So if you see any that you want, all these themes should be available, well, most of these themes should be available through July 29th, 2024. And who knows, maybe some of these will go on sale before the shop closes. Until next time, this is Booster Box Buster, and I hope you join me for part two of this series where I share with you games to download before the 360 shop closes. Until next time, this is Booster Box Buster, and I'm signing out. Peace.